Everybody go over their financials. They received. All right. Not yet. Not yet. I, can I? Absolutely. Discussion. You know, this this is as my first year, and so you know, I approached it. I, I've got some financial background, and so you know, I, I I wanted to look and see how this the group, the town, uh, you know, did with the uh, the 2014 budget. You know, just trying to get a history for it. You know, and and, and there, uh, geez, we exceeded revenues by 18.3 percent, and and we were one percent down in expenses. Now, what I did is, I stripped out the uh, the debt because in anything any percentages I'm using, I. I took away the debt, so I mean, I thought, gee, that's that's pretty good performance, you know. And then I looked to see how does the budget, the 2015 budget, compare to 2014, and and uh, you know, we budgeted $727,000 less in revenue, um, $889,000 more in in expenses. So I said, um, you know, that that budget should be achievable. I thought based on on the results that we had the the previous year. And then I looked at May, uh, April, and then and then May, and again stripping out that debt. I mean, we're, you know, our target was 41.7% uh, of revenue for the five months. We were at 42.4%, so we're ahead of revenue. Our uh, target expenses 41.7 with 38.8 without the debt, um, so we're well well below. Um, I, I think it's looking pretty good, and 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 I I would. Uh, in my approach to what I look at the numbers for next year, I, I wonder if we had any personnel changes. If the same people are doing the same jobs, if they're in, if they're preparing the budget for the second, third, or fourth year, you know, based on my history that I'm looking at, I, I'd have pretty good confidence in that they're, they're going to give us an achievable document. Mm -hmm. So that was my approach. We haven't let the cat out of the bag, but Scott was a CFO before he retired. Just well, as, as just I mean, a small hotel company. It was not just, yeah, you know. But he's capable of, more than capable of looking at our spreadsheets. Was there anything that you went over? Because, you know, we get, we get used to some things. Was there anything that you went over as a novice looking over this report for the first time, not as a novice in, in accounting, certainly, um, um, that jumped out or... Well, it, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at, um, again, strip, stripping out uh, personal administration and insurance, which are two, that, you know, that's uh, five, six, six point four million dollars. If you take that out of our budget and then you and you take the debt out, um, you know, 79 percent of the budgets in three areas, you know, it's kind of the 80 20 rule, I guess, you know, that in, in it's, you know, public safety highways and municipal sanitation, you know, that you, you see the insignificance of animal control, I think, when you yeah. when you look at these these numbers. So, um, you know, that was, you know, one of the, I was trying to get a handle on, you know, where, to, where I should spend my time looking, you know, mm -hmm. and, and those three departments kind of jump out at you as, as being significant. And uh, I mean, there's some line items that are that are all kind of over the place. Snow removal was a big one. Hydrants, I didn't understand. I mean, that's a, that wasn't budgeted, or it's a you know it's kind of a bust. But yeah. but they're you know it's like a fake again, it's not micromanaging. I think in total, it's uh, it, it's a pretty good document. I think that both the budget mm -hmm. and and how we're performing. Remember though, too, it's a default budget, exactly so it's right. not going to change from two thousand fourteen. This is not what was budgeted. Yeah. The voters voted down what yeah. the town wanted in yeah. the default it's, budget. So within the, looking at the default budget, things look like they're in control as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Yeah, right. That's the, it's our budget. You know, that's what we got to work. With. But that's budget. why they won't change much from 2014 because be it's a 2014 budget. But what we should be seeing here is if anything, any of the spending is not necessarily out of control, but let's say a victim of mm -hmm. the default budget, all right? Any areas that we seem to have needed more that perhaps maybe wasn't identified last year, and I didn't see anything that jumped out. Uh, um, as I recall, the, the deliberative session, I mentioned that, in my opinion, we had a quarter of a million dollars more in many line items than what was requested. Mm -hmm. The default budget is gonna take us to a quarter of a million dollars more than what was requested from about 20, 30 line items. So, in my opinion, it, it, we had some line items that were budgeted like for 15,000, and the default budget took it to 30 and 35 and 40. Right. So, I mean, uh, and other line items, you know, if they just spend in accordance with their historics, we should be all right. I look at this, and then through April anyway, we're 
we're thirty percent of the budget spent, spent, and we're about if you annualize that, that comes out to be about 85, 90 percent of the budget. And everybody was mad at us because we looked at the bottom line of the budget. Yeah. yeah. Now Mike has got May. I don't have May, so. But I'm not. Well, you guys, list. it was sent. Did is it a yeah, situation? Uh, Christy notified everybody. I, okay. I, Does anybody not get it? You didn't get it. I came it. picked it up. Mm -hmm. but, uh, All right, and you didn't get it, Glenn, so you're still off the... All right, I'll give you mine tonight before you leave. Can I add a comment before we get off this subject about... Yeah, no, I don't want to get off the subject. We're still okay. going around. Okay. All right, but I think we're adopting um, the process by which everybody raises their hand instead of starting and putting everybody on the spot. Michael, <laughs> go ahead. No, I, I compared May's financial report with May of last year and the interesting thing about it which jumps out on the page one of three is that um, the operating budget and expenses are 40.1 percent okay and if you look at last year's it's 39.9 percent that's a two-tenths of a percent difference which boils down to nickels and dimes about fifty thousand dollars so with all that snow removal and all this other mm. crying wolf stuff, we're only $50,000 off. And at the end of the year, we usually have about 300000 on unspent funds. So I see no need to even be anything but pleased about how it's gone so far. So far. Absolutely. Anyone else on? Yeah, I had a couple of points. I noticed in the May numbers, the fuel costs are way up, and if it's a default budget, it, they should be way down. Because last year, the price of fuel went way down, remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, though, that we had a very, an extremely cold winter, and on top of that, we had a lot of vehicles out on the road during... Diesel um, fuel. Diesel. Yeah, diesel Absolutely. fuel. Remember, and remember, we didn't touch the diesel fuel um, in the adjustments. We only touched well, gasoline. Uh, Fred said that you have state contracts, so. Yeah. That's what I was just going to say. The Wasn't there a state, not, was it a, for more than one year? Diesel fuel is a state contract. Right. Yeah, we didn't, when we made adjustments, it was specifically on, we did oh, not do anything on the heating, and we did, we only touched the gasoline based I on gasoline. I think we did touch price. the diesel. Like not the diesel. No, no the contract no, runs no, no. September, no, no. September. The other thing I noticed, uh, in the public works, <coughs> nothing showing in the line for repairs on the road. I'm talking patching. And well, they've been busy patching on Exeter Road for a month and there's Good pick up on money. that, Sonny. That's just a bookkeeping entry. So I didn't pick up on that one. Anyone else? Okay, I've got a few things here. There's something that I just want. I think this is going to be a theme for us this year. I think it's going to be <laughs> one of the things that we ourselves should be looking at as goals and the selectmen I would ask that they look at it as a goal the things that do pop out at me and it's all through the thing is, is overtime we are I think horribly understaffed in a few areas so I just want to call I'm not going to go over every single line but in general pull out the overtime in each section and you'll see that none of them are under, all of them are over, and some of them are over considerably. Now, I realize and I understand this was a difficult winter, but that's maybe where we need to concentrate and maybe ask some questions so that we can define what had to do with winter and, and the coverage there and what is just being absorbed normally and perhaps look at funding some new positions via a Warren article, not through the budget. I'd like to just do a little bit of focus on that as we get into the departments. Um, <sighs> the other thing, and Sonny, you touched on it, and perhaps our selectman representative can answer some questions for us regarding Exeter Road. Mr. Bean, are you in the room? Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, um, town manager and the uh, public works director are uh, currently uh, in the execution phase of uh, planning for that. As you know, the uh, um, 
bid for that came in at $6 million. That was uh, not accepted. Uh, we've got a new public works director, so uh, that's uh, on the front burner for this winter, or this summer, rather. On the front burner, meaning do we have a company yet that's going to do that? I, I don't have the particulars, nor am I prepared, nor was it on the agenda for this evening's discussion. 